Hello my adoring public, welcome back to more Zero Time Dilemma. Feral Fiasco here. Uh, we haven't really, I don't think we've, we've been in the flow chart maybe once up until this point, but going here will actually allow us to keep track of what we're going, uh, what we're doing. So we've got here, we're going to start, this is the blue. Is this us pressing the blue button or making the decision to press the blue button? There's a story path locked there. We're going to start with one of the longer ones. And it's been forever since we did anything with Q-Team. So we're actually going to go ahead and start here. Decision. Who killed Mira? Wait, what? Who killed Junpei? This is Carl. Okay, and this is Carlos deciding that it was him who did it. Is this showing us? Oh, this is showing us exactly which events spawn which scenarios. Eric's rage. I have to guess right. Hmm. You guys remember this? We said it was zero, and Eric was like, "Yeah, I guess that's true," but he killed us anyway. Let's try saying it was M Mira who killed herself. Time to decide. Uh, Mira. Your choice is made. Ha! Huh. You're saying she took her own life? This isn't gonna go well. Strangling herself? Don't fuck with me! Christ. <laughs> Why? Okay, so that ended badly once more. Let's go ahead. We're gonna try. We're gonna say Eric did it, but I feel like the right answer is to not say anything. Yeah, that's another game over. Whatevs. Uh, yeah, we'll save it. Right, uh, gonna go back to flow. We're gonna go back. Oh, whoa. Switch. Who killed Mira? All right. Gonna go back to this. And then we're gonna say it was Eric. And then see if Eric's like, oh my god, it really was me. It's either, the answer is either going to be Eric or not saying anything. Me? I killed Mira? Seriously? <laughs> why? Cuz Eric is a trigger happy moron, that's why. Oh my god. Another game over. All right, we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, we'll save that too, but we're gonna jump back into the flow and this time we're just not gonna say anything. Who killed Mira, jump to here. 
And we're just going to let those 16 seconds run out on us. And hopefully Eric's like, got nothing to say, huh? Well, let's go ahead and see what's going on with the rest of the story then. I got nothing to say to you, Eric. <sighs> Probably skipping this time. Doesn't matter. Alright. Two, one. Let's see what we got here. Eric, don't kill us. Okay, this is different. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. Right. Please don't shoot us, dude. Oh my god. Eric, be cool, bro. Okay. Fuck. Seriously. But now we can't escape, you freaking idiot! Oh, I thought we were about to get the credits. Hey. That would have been one. How could any of this even happen? Seriously, what happened to Mira? Everything to me. For whatever reason. Lonely ice cream clerk. The beautiful goddess of a customer. She seemed like a rare flower, forever out of my reach. It made me happy just to see her smile from behind the counter. But I took her order, and, and we spoke for a bit. Day after day, we talked like that. I wanted to be with her. If she needed help, I wanted to be there. So thirsty. I started to feel like I'd, well, I'd do anything for her. That is extremely unhealthy, bro. Mira was the one to ask me out the first time. Every date after that, I took the initiative. The longer we dated, the more and more I came to like her. I really loved her. Somehow, I felt like she was a lot like my mother. Hello, Freud. To tell the truth, I don't really remember much about my mother anymore. She died when my brother and I were still pretty small. But, but she was a good cook, and liked things clean. She was always smiling. And above all, her gentleness and warmth are what I remember the most. Hmm. I guess putting it that way, her and Mira aren't very similar at all. Not even a little bit, dude. I felt something in who Mira is. Something that's a lot like her. Everything just seemed so bright after I met her. I couldn't help but think Every day was great. I was going to propose. I scraped together all my money and bought an engagement ring. And then, then, why? Why did this have to happen? Actually, how did those two even end up here? Mira and... Let's work together to find the killer. I'm really sad Mira died too. I'll never forgive the person who did it. That's why. Hmm? This is. What is that? That's it? Hmm. Alright. Save complete. Let's see if that goes any further at all, though. Yeah. Hmm. That is a lock. Okay. 
Shoot Eric. Three-way standoff. Hmm. I don't know if that one is super impactful. We got the ending already. We killed Eric, and that's what prompted Mira to reveal that she was actually Dexter. Hmm. Oh, okay. We got these. Execution vote Q. Vote D team. Vote D team. Vote Q team. Okay, so I effed up majorly. But let's see. What are some of the... This one. Okay, so I think... How far are we in? We're about 10 minutes in. So we're definitely going to get into the meat and potatoes of this. Don't press. Kill button D. Or is this even anything? We don't press it. Is this the one where uh, I had Diana put on the suit? Huh? But there was so much more after that. Hmm. Well, let's choose to transport then. That must be all be locked, I guess. Time to decide. We're gonna transport. We're down, we're cool with it, bro. We're gonna... I still, cause I still feel like it's gonna actually kill us and create copies of us. Or something equally ridiculous. Probably a real tingly feeling going on right then. See, the Monty Hall problem is real stuff. This, this is like borderline magic, dude. Huh? Why? Wait. Whoa! What is this? Uh-oh! Okay, we're gonna save first, but then... No, we're not gonna save the dummy file. We're gonna save here to the Macho Man file. And we're gonna see what this is actually entailing. What is this? Hmm. Yeah. What's going on here? Door of Truth. Hopefully there's not another puzzle segment. I like the puzzles, but man. See, I don't think we're the same people, dude. Did it really work? Well, we got into the input pots and we came out of... The export pods. Diana, look at your watch. 1805. Well, we climbed into the pods around 1.30 in the morning on New Year's. So, we went back in time? What? But, hmm, it could be possible that it's 1805 on January 1st, though. That's what my first thought was. But it 
it also means it could be two or three days off. Or even three or four years. There's no way to know the exact date or time. Even what we see on this watch could be fake. We have no idea. Um, Sigma, can I ask you something? You were the one who prepared everything on the input console, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are you getting at? Where exactly did you set it to? What do you mean, where? The transfer point for the transporter. Uh, I don't know. What? It's not my fault. We didn't have time. What does she mean, where, though? I, I, I couldn't read any of the text on the display, so... I pushed a random button. A random? That's a bad idea, dude. It, it doesn't matter. It's still highly likely we came out in an alternate history. And if that's true... There are other us's? If I could be here... I don't know, dude. Doesn't look like she's here. Hmm. This is what? What? Oh, wow! Oh. Are there bodies here? Someone locked us in? Anyway, let's find a way out of here. This is a puzzle we'll segment. Later. All right. We're strapped in for a puzzle. Let's do this. Spin. Okay, sure. Why not? The word spin is written next to this exhaust fan. Does that mean we should spin this? But I don't see a power switch, and we can't reach the blades with our fingers. I guess we'll have to find a different way. I wasn't expecting to have to do a puzzle segment for this, but... Let's see. Mm. I'm also not anticipating this. Is that water? There's water all over the floor. Um, the water doesn't look quite right. I would even go so far as to think it could be dangerous. Don't step inside. Hmm. Okay. What is that? Is it flooded? Yeah, it's flooded and it's all green and stuff. I'm not trying to get in that. And we got a combination lock. A red thing. A hair dryer. It's a hair dryer. I bet we can use it for something. Hair dryer. And then power outlet. Huh? This hair dryer only plugs into a two hole outlet. It won't fit here. Hmm. Let's see. A camera. Is that important at all? I can't even examine it. This is just light fixtures. What about you? What are you? What's this device? There's a cover screwed on here. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to open it to examine it. It must be here for a reason. Can I plug the hair dryer up into this? This cable isn't connected. Let's plug it back in. Right. Oh, I think the power is on now. Okay, let's check it out. Maybe just something thin and hard. Hmm. And we can't... 
obviously we have to go over here, but that water will jack us up. Wait, is that water flowing in from somewhere? Gross. Uh. Hmm. We got spin, one light on. There's not much in here. The sink has water in it. It looks like it's plugged. Maybe we should unplug it? And the other sink fills up with it. Huh? Now the sink on the left is making noise? Let's take a look. There seems to be some water inside after I drained the other sink. Maybe they're linked together somehow. I'm not an expert in plumbing, but that seems rather strange to do. Why are they like that? And something's at the bottom of the drain. Still can't reach it. Hmm. Maybe if we put more water in the other sink, it'll come up? If these sinks are connected, then it's worth a shot at least. So we gotta get more water in. Dang, I thought I was gonna be able to. No. I need more water for the other sink. Let's try not to touch it. How can we drain it? Mm. I haven't examined those lockers yet. All right, this doesn't seem like anything. Okay. Let's see what let's see what secrets you guys have to give me. There are nine buttons on this lock. Let's see if we can unlock it. Uh, no information! Nailed it. Crap. It won't work. It's not opening. We should search the room for more clues. Let's open this locker. Oh, we can just... Okay, I meant to click on this, but... I didn't even think to open up the lockers. It looks like a music box just with a large disc. Why is there a music box inside a locker? Why are there nine people trapped in a bunker underground? Just don't question it, dude. Mm. Hmm. Runs on water. It says runs on water up here. A music box that runs on water? Um, where do we put the water? There's a hole for a pipe at the bottom. That's probably it. What a strange music box. I wonder what it plays. Hmm. Okay, let's open up these other lockers then. If only there was a cat in here. Meow, that would perfectly calm my nerves. Uh, Sigma, did you just make a bunch of puns that mean I'm going to have to kill you? Uh, if you can't tell, I kind of have a litter tick. Whenever I talk about cats, I... Uh, alright, I guess it's okay. Oh, anyway, look! There's something here in the locker! I wonder what it is. Conversion plug. So, obviously that's for the hair dryer, but before we use it, we're gonna try to unscrew with that. It's some kind of note. Note 1, locker room. The power supply must be restarted to unlock the door. Huh, turn it off and on. Always works for me. Okay, so before we use the... We're gonna go ahead, do this first. Can we unscrew with you? Maybe use something... No, we cannot unscrew with you, so we're just gonna go ahead and connect this then. Combine... With you. Hair dryer with plug. Now we can plug you up. There's only one place to do it at, so... Yes, it fits right in! And what do we do now? Give ourselves fantastic blowouts with it? Um, oh, maybe spin the fan up there? I'm glad Diana said it, because my mind was not on that track at all. Oh, yes, the word spin is on the wall next to it. Let's try it out. Uh... Let's use the hair dryer on the exhaust fan. And once it gets spinning fast enough, we should be able to read what's behind it without any issue. 
Yes, it says spin over there. It can be used to spin the blades. Whole violet, white, blue, red. I guess something in the back there? It says violet, white, blue, red. Names of colors. Hmm. All right. Uh Oh, we never examined the lock because we did the music box because I misclicked. It's a lock with four buttons. Let's see if we can open it. Ooh, uh... Oh, okay. Violet. White. Blue. Which I keep going past. Red. Easy! Yes, it's unlocked! Let's see what's inside. A coin. A remote control. So the coin, we already know. They've done this a couple other times. But I guess if this was our first time encountering it, it might be difficult. But no, we know what to do with this coin. Uh, there we go. We'll just open it with this coin. Hmm. Yes, it's open. Let's check what's inside. Let's turn the left switch on. The shower side of the room lit up, but now the locker side is dark. It purposely only lights up one side at a time? That's not annoying. Hmm. Now we can see this. Is there a way we can drain it? All right, uh... Strange dirty water first. Okay, um... Now that side's all dark. Uh, let's see. What's this hole? It's in the shape of a C. I thought that was a button. I think we can put something in there. I just don't know what it... What by only looking at it. Hmm. Uh, let's reset. I think this button restarts this device. The note said we got the door to unlock after we restart the power supply. Yes, but this isn't responding when we push it. Hmm. A way to drain... this. Do we have anything... Is uh, isn't that a drain there? Looks like, but there's a lid on it. If we can remove the lid, then we can get rid of the dirty water. A remote control. There's only one button on it. Push the button? Heck yeah! Oh. Okay. Yes! Opens the lid! And there's a start. Oh, the lid on the drain is open. And the odd water drained out. Now we can search around safely. And also pick up this start thing. Round piece that says start. It's a C-shaped thing, but... Clearly that's not meant for the, uh... For the thing. We should be able to open these up now. Uh, it's a pretty normal shower stall. Ah, oh, there's something on the wall. What do you say? Note 2. Fully submerge the power supply in water to restart. I don't like the sound of that. Mm. Let's open this up next. Is this the power supply? Huh, what's this? A water tank? Why is it here? It's clearly out of place. I suppose that's a good reason to examine it. There's something shining, but I don't think we're able to get at it. A water tank? Why is it in the shower room? Oh, there are water plants in here! Is Zero planning on getting some fish? And of all places, he puts it here. 
There's a small part inside the tank. Could be a decoration, not even a little bit. You can see it's C-shaped like what we need for that uh, impression. But I'm intrigued. We can take we can't take the cover off, so we can't reach it. Hmm. But it's screwed shut. Yep, I think the screw is too small. If only we made a screwdriver. Uh oh. Hmm. Nope. Okay, so can't get at it that way. Let's see what's behind door number three. It looks like a normal shower room. There's a bucket here. Is that for cleaning? Okay, we're gonna fill this bucket up, then we're gonna get the thing out of the sink, and we're gonna use the thing in the sink to get the C-shaped piece. No water is coming out of the faucet. No water is coming out. Hmm. Wear it on your head to gain defense. I think we can find another use for it aside from wearing it. Bucket. Hmm. What about you? Oh, this door doesn't open. Is it locked? Only this one is different than the others. I wonder if there's a reason for it. It looks like a private room for VIP only, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe this one open... Can we open this one up? Let's put some water in the... Sigma, please take that off your head. <laughs> Why is Sigma the best character, seriously? Can anyone out there challenge such a notion? The answer is no. The answer is no. We have to submerge this to restart it, right? Maybe this bucket of water will do the trick. No, Diana. Machines near water are usually waterproof. We'll have to really submerge it. That means lifting this... Pouring water on it isn't enough to restart it. Do I still have water? Please tell me I still have water. Yes, still have water. For whatever reason, I still have water. But I'm gonna empty... First, I'm gonna empty my hand. So I can press this stupid button. And now... Let's go ahead. We're gonna pour the bucket of water into this side of the sink so it drains into the other one and pushes what's ever in there up. Which should be enough for us to get out the uh, thingamabob, whatever's in the uh, tank. A key, a straight up key, huh? You're right, That's the sink over there is making a sound. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, the thing at the bottom came out. It's a key. A Akagi, yeah. Hmm. So we got a key, and then we're going to turn this back, and we can use the key as a screwdriver. And then we can get that C-shaped piece out. No. Okay, so the key is actually not what we need for this. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm... A key... No? The key's not what we need for that puzzle. Maybe this key opens the door to the shower stall? It does! How great is that?! There's a hose in here. Hmm, what can we use it for? Hose. Alright, we can connect the hose up to this shower stall. And then use that to give us water for the water tank? Nope, it doesn't seem to be the right size. The hose won't fit here. Right? Uh... What about this one? No water. Okay, so it's useless there. Mmm... I think there's no water on this one, too. No water. Okay... Maybe we can use the hose for a screw? I don't know. Can't open it. No. Hmm. What about here? What is this? Can we examine this? There's a tube of some kind attached to the tank. There's That's probably the pump for cycling or changing out the water. Doesn't look like the pump is working right now. Hmm. There's a tube. What's, if the pump starts, will it drain the water in the tank? 
So we drain the water in the tank by unscrewing it. And that'll probably suck the thing out, but what do we attach this hose to? It's not the right size for this. And we don't have the bucket anymore. We still have this round piece. Wait, do we combine this with the hose? No, no, we don't. We can still use the remote control. Yeah, why not? Now it's closed, so this remote controls it. And then, let's go ahead and just turn it- Let's go ahead and just turn this on. What, uh, water's coming out of the faucet. What part of? Let's start- Oh, wait, I'll come too! Hmm, once the door is shut, it's a sealed room in here. You're right, there are no gaps between the frame and the door. It's totally closed up. Let's get out, yeah? Uh, um, yes, we should. So this is where we're going to hide, and then we're gonna- we're gonna drown the room, we're gonna hide in there, and then we're gonna wait for the door to open. And then once the door opens, all the water is gonna leak out, but to get to that point, we have to put this button on something. That opens with water, maybe we attach the hose to that. Right? Let's see. Wait. It's locked. Huh. We don't have the combination for this yet. Do we have any information about that, actually? We've got... The power supply must be restarted. Fully submerge the power supply and water to restart. Alright. And this runs on water, so let's try connecting the hose to it. Plug the hose up. It's a music box. It says it runs on water, but it's made in such a way that the water goes, goes in from this hole here at the bottom. Oh, what a strange music box. Maybe we can use what we found to transport the water over here? Why, is, why phrase it in such a vague way? We'll just connect the hose first and place the other end in a shower. The hose might reach the shower on the far right. Then we need to connect it to that one. It should reach the shower on the far right. Yeah, but it doesn't plug up on that end, right? Because I already tried that. Then what about up above? We'd have to take the shower head off first. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Ah, the water works in the shower. Hmm, the shower has a uh, is a little crooked. Are the screws loose? Water's coming out of the shower head. It's crooked because the screws are loose. Hmm. Maybe we can use the 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 start button to open this up. No. The screws are loose. Much back to square one. I'm not sure where the F to proceed from here at. It's not too dark to see anything. You're just lying to me right now, Diana. You're just lying. Oh my god. We don't have time to rest. But we also don't have... It tells us we examined everything. Oh my god, how is this puzzle more difficult than the ones I've done up until this point? It's probably not more difficult, I'm just getting frustrated. Hmm. But I definitely don't want to just leave with this puzzle looming over my head. Whoever came up with this puzzle is freaking Hitler! Come on, dude!
I don't know what the solution is. I don't understand what this puzzle wants from me, dude. Where am I supposed to get the hint for this? Where in the world is the hint for this stupid thing? Obviously I failed it because I don't have the answer. It's open. We can use the room lid if we want to close it. But clearly we, we were able to open it up. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is this progress? I hate whoever came up with this puzzle. I seriously just hate whoever came up with this freaking puzzle. Whatever. <sighs> what do we have? We got... There was no indication that there would be glow-in-the-dark numbers on this. I swear to God. 5412976388. Obviously... Okay, give me one second. We're gonna make a note of these. This should be it, though. We're like an hour and a half on this puzzle. 297-638. Something strange. Yeah, it's lighting up. Must be fluorescent paint. I think those are numbers. What could they be for? Oh my god. 45 minutes of me being stuck on this particular segment of the puzzle. This game, though. What do we have? It's five, four, one, or uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna guess that. Oh my. Dude, I probably cut out so much of me not even BSing, just not knowing where to go, dude. Something's displaying on this monitor. What is this? Oh, it's like, um, it's like in the D-team room. Uh, not D-team room, but it's like in the healing room. Should be simple enough. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, that looks right. These orders do not look as right. But there's only a clouds. Oh my god, this is significantly less difficult. Mm. And then we just gotta match this up. And then we should be able to check it and be done. Nope, okay, so. Please don't kick me out. There we go. There's one. Yeah, okay, this. We flip these around. Oop, too much. And now we're done. No, okay, getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we should be able to check it and be done. Oh, okay. Oh, nope. Hmm. And then we put this piece around and that should not be it. I don't think these fit. No, these pieces don't fit together correctly. Hmm. Hmm. Should it actually be... Uh-oh. Oh, that's a double-headed dragon. I just wanted to try it. Let's do it that way. Nope, still fails. Okay, so this might not be as easy as I was hoping. Uh... Hmm. So that ends in a dragon. Hmm. This also ends in a dragon. I think it's just this guy. Yeah. Oh, wait. Check it out. There we go. Should be it, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, the drawer opened and something's inside. A screwdriver. Thank God. Let's go ahead and finish up this Hitler puzzle. First, okay, first we're gonna close the lid. Stupid. So stupid. Then, we're gonna unscrew this. Alright, it should be a straight shot from here to the end of this stupid puzzle. We still have the screwdriver, though. Huh? 
We should get both sides bright first. Uh oh. Oh wait, 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 wait. We still have the screwdriver. Wait. Who? Before everything gets horrible, first we're gonna get the C-shaped piece out. We can probably fit something in here. Oh, the the button. It fits, so this piece is a button. And it drains out, and yep, should, yep. The pump started working, then this is a button to operate it. Something came out of the tube. Let's see what it is. It's that C-shaped piece. All right. So now we're done with the aquarium. We can get both sides bright with this C-shaped piece. Maybe the connection between the switches is broken? Hmm, that's highly possible. Let's try changing the switch then. So now we have both sides lit. And we can still operate the drain? But I'm sure the drain has to be closed in order in order to actually complete the puzzle. Hmm. Bluebird lamentation, dude. I like the sound this makes and this melody. It just makes me want to sing. Of all the times, you... Dang. Sigma is not having a good time. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Diana, but the drawer of the, on the music box is open. You're right. Who would have thought that my singing would open it? Uh, yes. Sure, what you said. There's a note inside. Fill the room with water. Dude, these are the least helpful notes I've seen in my freaking life. Uh. Wh what's going on? Did I do something I shouldn't have? No clue, but this is bad. At this rate, the whole room will be full of water. No, no the door's still locked. I don't want to drown. Me neither, but we have to uh, still have some time. We can. We have to stay calm and think. Uh, obviously we get in here. The lid is closed now. If everything goes as planned, the room will fill with water. Oh! Okay, and the door opening should, yeah. I think the water is all drained away now. Oh wow, that was scary. You think it's okay to go out? Dude. This room looks freaking bad. But you know what? I'm not trying to spend another single solitary second in this stupid room. I'm glad it's not completely dark. Does that still work? Oh yeah, we had to restart it. We can just hit the restart button. Restart? That's what the note said. Okay, let's push it. Okay. This is not the door opening. What is this? You found it. Oh my god, dude. That puzzle was so obnoxious. Why is there a door here? Was right. This door isn't marked on the map. Hmm. It won't open? Nope. It's locked up tight. It looks like you need to put a code in here. Anything come to mind? <sighs> All I can tell is that it's an eight digit number. Uh. An eight digit number? I don't know. What? Uh. I 
I don't know. I don't have this information, do I? I don't... I didn't make a choice. I don't have the information. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything. I wonder if there are any hints around here. Please God, not again. And that's where this should end. <sighs> okay. So that was by far the most obnoxious puzzle yet. It turned out to be something pretty simple. But I was just not, for the life of me, for literally 45 minutes, I was just not seeing it. But that's fine. We know how to solve the locker puzzle, locker room puzzle now. We're never going to have to do it again. But I feel better for having completed it. Uh, obviously, this is another milky volley kind of thing. If you play VLR, you get to several different locks. And if you don't have the information, you can't proceed. So clearly, we're going to get that information in an alternate history. But we are actually going to do that next time on Zero Time Dilemma. So join me then, guys. Bye for now.